Four local clinics operating for months under a ransom attack. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Doug Profit. Our Focus investigative team first told you about the Park Duval Community Health Center hack just last week. We talked to the CEO who said patient care was never compromised, but one patient, patient is telling us now that that's just not true. Here's investigative journalist Shay McAllister. She didn't want her face shown. I am a mother of three. Um, I'm in my early 30s. I've been going to um, Park Duval for a little over three years. But she said she had to tell her story. This was probably the worst two months I've had mental health wise um, in several years. And part of it is just the not knowing. Part of it is the lack of information, the lack of communication. On June 7th, the Park Duval Community Health Center's servers were hacked by cyber criminals, holding the system hostage for nearly two months. But staff didn't immediately tell patients. In fact, most didn't know until just last week when we started asking questions. This is part of my phone call with the CEO. Why not acknowledge this sooner and try to spread word to patients? It's, it's a, the problem, I mean, that's why. I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty, and maybe that would have been a, a you know, a, a good practice. No. No, that's not good enough. Um, when you are dealing with people's health care, a simple, eh, that's not, that's not good enough. This patient, who relies on the clinic pharmacy for antidepressants and anxiety medication, says she went into withdrawal when the clinic couldn't fill her prescriptions two weeks ago at her last appointment. If I don't get them, I don't live. It's that important. When she tried calling in the days that followed, she says she couldn't get an answer. And then we're left feeling really abandoned by the system that we're supposed to trust. She decided to speak out when she heard clinic leaders say patient care was never compromised. And now she has a message for them. There are some people that use their services and they are a lifeline. I just would ask that they don't ever forget that. And that patient told us she was able to get at least some of her medications refilled at a different health care clinic while she waits for her next appointment at Park Duval. The CEO tells us they are still working to get their system back up and running. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.